villain! What do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you, and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy! Melia! Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history! So be it! I reject you! I will take the mantle and become father of our kin! Yeah, the, the only thing this guy's gonna become father of and is a hole in the ground in the next couple of minutes, so... Yep. The only father here is the one that will sign your death certificate. <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. Oh well, yeah, I don't know where uh, Galgar got the uh ease robot things from the Hyantia tomb, but, uh, he's just been packing them away for some, some time now, I guess. Not that's gonna help much. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I... I know I am not wrong. I'm not! I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon! Vixus, help! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today! Are you okay, Talon? Telethia, here! Damn! She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. <gasps> the future. 
future. went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab. <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child! I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet... Ultimately, it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome. We found it in the tomb. Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yes, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan. Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on. We'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? Can I use Trinkle Snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely excessive? <laughs> 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 This might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief! Miss Melly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you, big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just... don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her... She figured the Fog Beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle, so really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother 
may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found Aether attacks effective against Fog Beasts, but not against the Fog King. That's because the Aether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, Dum Dum. But Kino's so bored! The whole thing got me wondering. Why did Fog Beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Telethia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethia's, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high purity ether crystals, except. Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Hey! All right, Shulk, do you know where the high power Talithia crystals are? No? All right. No. Razdan, do you know where... <laughs> <laughs> What's up? All right. So there's a couple people we got to talk to around Randell who might have a lead for us, like this militia man. Yeah, I've never heard of him before, but I think I know where you could find them. Ah, oh, just kidding. I don't remember. But my squad mate over on the ramparts might know better. <laughs> LOL. Oh. I would have laughed so hard after all that work getting up there, you just jumped off accidentally. <laughs> there is a there is a non-zero chance that may have happened uh, before the jump cut. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you still tempted fate a second time too. It's not tempting fate so much as forgetting. And then we gotta talk to this lady. Is it just me, or is like the general background music for this? I don't know if it's this area or for the Bionis shoulder as a whole, but is this just me, or is this like this is like some oblivion ass music that's going on right now? <laughs> I know, yeah. A little. Sorry, I think you meant to say it. This is like very Morrowind music. <laughs> Time frame and all. I mean, we are okay. dealing with a giant gaping gate from which monsters from hell are constantly emerging out of it, so... Yeah, no, Oblivion's probably the better reference. Eh, I mean, there are dragons in this as well. True, true. We did see a uh, fucking Prosecutor Davram earlier. <laughs> we did get stopped crossing the border into the <laughs> they got his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And also, we're we're dealing with a uh, a group of racists who are trying to stage a rebellion against like uh, the normal people who run this place.
Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, like, isn't Radzim's backstory that he used to be an adventurer like us before he took an arrow to the knee or whatever? It might, actually, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you, Todd Howard. <laughs> uh, how does it all keep coming back to Todd Howard? I don't know, it just works. <laughs> all right, well, let's go check out the Forbidden Hushlands then. I see. What's that? I feel like we should tell the tell the guy just uh walk away and take his girlfriend and run. <laughs> But hey, it's a fusion of umami and raw power. I am never going to get over it to uh, the fact that uh, when the pawn specters get stuck on any form of geometry, their first instinct is to just vibrate violently. <laughs> I mean, I would too, if I'm being honest. My anxiety just kicks in when I'm glued to uh, uh, an object. <laughs> right. Before we go off to the uh, the Hushland, I'm gonna go pick up a couple quests that we can just do along the way. No! Some kind it's of. It's okay. We're done with this one. Some kind of tool that one could catch fish with. No, it'll never work. Never. Welcome. And Bartholomew is just over here on this bridge. Is this game actually about to introduce fishing at, like, the 95th hour? <laughs> or is that where we're going with this? Yeah, we just gotta go for the beach on the other side to go catch a shaman fish. So, yeah, they, the game kind of allows us to go fishing in that we have new collection points now. Huzzah. Anyway, uh, the, the ether crystals we want are just over here. It's this gigantic fucking thing right across from that, uh, landmark I ran to when I was trying to flee from my life here in the crypt. Yeah, I was just gonna ask, like, wasn't this a place where you ate shit horribly? Yes, but I hit the landmark, so it's okay. <laughs> so now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Mm. Radzim, sir! Fog beasts have broken through the gates! They're through! <sighs> if only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha! Quick, get everybody to safety. Not that one, though. That one <laughs> dies. <laughs> it's okay, he's- Mom over there is- 
Uh, you first. I was gonna say, it's he's sticking put anyway, so we don't have to worry about that one. We're here to help. This rabble won't stand a chance, not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. You go no further. Yeah. Plea for life is no use. Kino make you full of holes. And Nene teach you better manners. All right, let's let's fuck up uh, a mammoth. I think the only meaningful difference, like an enemy being a fog beast, is, is that they have higher levels than uh, their normal counterparts. Yeah, like they're not even. It's not even like they're invincible until you do a thing or you know anything like that. They just have bigger numbers, which doesn't really make them that much more threatening, honestly. <laughs> Not that I'm saying I want them to have, like, regeneration or, like, a spike or something, but... I don't know. You'd expect them to be more threatening considering how much they fucking hype these things up as dangerous. Seal the gates! We beat them this time, but the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! Situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. Yea, as soldiers of the High End here, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. <laughs> I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please, trust me, Ratsum. I'll be right here. Trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! <sighs> if the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me! You head straight for the cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's... You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea! Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. <sighs> Come on, we make for the Companion's cape. So I just realized that with the lab being blown up in this episode, are we ever going to find out what the fuck was up with that giant crystal butt plug or what? No. God damn it.